Looks like he must have split in a hurry. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Doesn't take much to scare a man away. I started seeing somebody too soon after Chuck left, and I don't think Lloyd really liked that too much. What did he do? That is still after that kid. Kidding me? It's just. Shame on you, Dutch, for using this woman. <laughs> Detective Vic Mackey, Farmington Division. How can I help you, Detective? Can you check uh, if any of the local pharmacies have refilled this prescription in the last 24 hours? I'd be happy to help you, Detective, if you could come back with a subpoena. Do you have any other police ID? <laughs> Is my word not good enough? At least let me roll on the strike team with Julia. Gangs aren't taking a Gangs holiday aren't just your because. Gangs problem some... anymore. I'm dismantling the strike team. Mm -hmm. That's not your decision alone. Why not? The strike team only has two members right now. When you're cleared for work, you'll be reassigned. The strike team is my team to run. Give me some new blood. I've had enough blood. <laughs> radius as to where you are, Vic can probably get more detailed information as to exactly where the police are. Put Vic on. Now, Corinne, I know he's there. <laughs> he's already on. <laughs> just looking out for you, Shane. I want your plan to go to shit just like your plan to kill me and Ronnie. That plan was solid. You had no idea. That plan was solid. Why did you use that random ass street gangster? <laughs> See that Lexus? You need to unload that. Straight up trade, no questions asked. I got that. Are you shitting me, man? I'm offering you a Lexus for Christ's sakes. And she runs, my man. Dude, you really shouldn't be picky at this point. I made him three passports, okay? One for him, and then one for his wife, and then one for his kid. I know what names? Sean and Katie Hoover, and the kid's name is Brian. Picture's not in there yet. Maybe get one for yourself too, huh? Just in case. <laughs> There's a presidential motorcade coming through town this weekend. Until then, we just gotta hole up here. We still have to get Jackson his medicine, so we have to go out for that. Well, only because you left it at home. <laughs> Great mother for getting the kids' medicine. <laughs> hey, Mags. I told you, don't call me that. Just happy to see you, Margaret. I told you I mailed the check. I'm sorry it's late again. Margaret prefers to be called Margaret instead of Max? Dude, come on. <laughs> we hear you're new to the neighborhood. Consider us the welcome wagon. My family lives right down the street. I am sick, detective. I won't ever change. And I raped that girl in Sacramento, but I did my stint. I hadn't touched jailbait since, so I have just as much right to live on this street as anyone else. <laughs> you should probably move again. <laughs> Billings will come after you. The market's so bad right now. There's all these houses that are sitting empty. Some of them are sitting six, eight months at a time. Owners are just waiting for the market to rebound. Well, we're better off just staying still. Jackson's not. I mean, this place isn't good for him. The dust in here, the air. Then... <laughs> then clean up. <laughs> Shane's not stupid enough to go to a pharmacy near where he's staying. No, but maybe Sean Hoover is. <laughs> <laughs> if we take out Shane and leave her, she's gonna get caught. She's gonna start pointing all kinds of fingers at us. Jesus Christ. Especially the middle one. Mr. Mayor, the dick is up your ass. And I am the one, not you, who decides when and if it comes out. <laughs> Hey, I sure hope you can help me out. Have you seen this guy by any chance? He's a friend. Sorry. He, he's traveling with his wife. At least pretend to look at the picture, dude. I picked this up for him. This kid really needs it. It doesn't say... I'm getting a lot of complaints about that brat crying. Ooh. <laughs> kidding me? He actually has found him? <laughs> Just hanging out in the ER? 
Is that really smart? Call just came in. City of Angels Hospital. Nurse at the desk flagged Sean Hoover. Brought a son Brian in with a high fever. I'm on my way. I knew it. <laughs> what the hell did you do? I just went by his house to put the fear of God in him. Mm. Everything is fine. How's it fine? The man's still living on our street. I came to you for help and whatever you said to him... He's got to live somewhere, woman. <laughs> Floyd told me everything last night. You think that he shot that kid deliberately? You made me think we were on a date. All you were doing was gathering evidence on my son. Rita. And he did it in such a subtle way. <laughs> Don't come near us. You got that? He will get your little bastard. <laughs> Otherwise we wouldn't still spend time on this. He hasn't come anywhere near violating the terms of his parole. I know we're not going to get this guy acting officially as cops. You're my partner, right? Well, I'm supposed to be Shane Vendrell to whatever Vic Mackey plan you've hatched. <laughs> How's everything going between you and Rita? I'm not exactly sure what lover Dutch game you're playing there, but I know that none of it's been above boards. I listened to your theories. I got you alone with the kid. Now it's your turn to step up. But that case was about a murder. Your case is about nothing. It's about a sex offender who was already in jail and now wants to live a new life. Or at least try to. Looks like you caught the bastard on something. Found child pornography in his bedroom. Second offense. So this guy's going back to prison. How'd you get the warrant? Anonymous tip. Really? You get a warrant because of an anonymous tip? Are you kidding me? It's okay. It's okay, Jackson. It's okay. <laughs> Officer! Officer, that man over there has a gun! <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> Fucking Mara. Stop right there! How do these guys not know that that's Shane and his wife who are wanted? What the fuck? The whole neighborhood's talking about Irving Heap's arrest. I just gave him an insider's nudge. Thanks, Dad. I'll take you to that movie this weekend, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. I hope something happens to your fucking family. <laughs> a couple with a small child told the officers that he had a gun and pointed it at them. They looked at the hospital surveillance tape and the couple was Shane and Mara Vandrell. That's impossible. That was family Hoover. Vic and I found out that Shane killed Lem. What reason would Shane have to kill Lem? The only thing that we could figure out was Shane's involvement with the Armenians. Vic thinks that Shane was waiting at his place personally last night. If I had to call him when my hit went sideways, Vic would be dead right now. Well, let's be honest, there's no proof for that. <laughs> Vic wants Shane caught. He wants him to serve time with all the other shitbags that we put in there. We're all on the same side on this, Captain. She can't honestly believe that. He's not an abusive husband or a cheating boyfriend. He's not a son. I can't walk away from him. Bring him into the barn. Help me convince him to confess. And what if he doesn't? If he's innocent? Convince him? Uh, how's that supposed to work? Shane said he didn't want you here. He can't know whether he's here or not, unless you fuck up on the phone. What the fuck? Vic tried to kill us tonight, and you helped him. He made you an accessory to attempted murder, and <clears throat> now what? you're a criminal, just like what? Vic. <laughs> that woman, oh my god. Brilliant logic. When I call you tomorrow at one o'clock, she said that that they don't trust you anymore and that they're anymore. not going to be calling back here. They haven't trusted him for a while. Oh, that woman is so stupid. Actually believing what that bitch says. Oh. Why do these two women have to be so important for this final story? <laughs> <laughs> 